Um, hi, I'm Alice Fortescue, and this is my first video for Professor Flitwick's class. Um, so we're supposed to just talk about ourselves for a while in this one. I don't really do talking about myself. I'm not that interesting, really. I'm, I'm not. And, I mean, I wouldn't want to hear about myself, so I don't know why you guys would. So... Yeah, um, my name is Alice, uh, Alice Hélène Fortescue. Uh, I also speak French, obviously. My dad's French. Fortescue, you know, <laughs> makes sense. Um, my mom's name is Anne, and my dad's name is Richard, and I have an older brother named Edmund, and they're all absolutely fantastic. My parents are both professors at Harvard. <laughs> um, mom is a women's gender study professor, and my father is a French literature professor. So, yeah, big shoes to fill someday. Um, my brother is going to med school. He's going to be a doctor. I would be a doctor, but I don't like blood or medicine, and that's just too much pressure, and I don't know, I mean, I would want to make the call and like if someone lived or died and that would just be so hard and I, I just couldn't deal with that. So um, I'm not, I'm not going to be a doctor obviously. Um, yeah, I, I'm majoring in human rights right now. Um, not really 100% sure where I'm going with that. Probably into law, I'd like to be a lawyer or maybe a social worker, um, something that helps people without having to deal with blood, hopefully. Um, I really like reading, probably a bit too much actually. Um, I read a lot, but I've read even more as a kid. I always liked books a bit more than people, honestly. I mean, books are never mean to you, and they don't make fun of you, and they don't leave you. They're just, they're there, no matter what, you know? You can just leave it there for a year, and you'll, you'll go back, and it's it's still there waiting for you and they don't judge you or think you're weird. They just, they're there, unlike people. And unlike life, if it gets too scary or stressful or you don't like how it's going, you can just close the book and you never have to open it again. Or you can just keep it closed until you feel ready to try again and then just open it. And yeah, they're, they're pretty great, really. Um, music's great too. I mean, music and books both open new worlds to magic and feelings that you didn't think you could have. I, I love listening to music, but I love singing even more, actually. I almost never stop singing. It's, it's really good of my sweet mates to put up with it, actually. I sing and hum a lot. Uh, sorry guys, you're great. Okay, um, I think that's enough talking about me to, to last for the next decade. Um, so I'm going to talk about my friends now for a while instead. Um, I mean, it's not technically about me, but my friends are such a huge part of my life. I mean, and they're more interesting than I am at least. So yeah, um, my friends are amazing. I just, I'm so lucky to have all of them. Um, they're, they're a bit odd. I mean, well, no, no, not odd. I mean, odd to me. Um, they're, they're special and, and unique in, in the best possible way. You know, usually. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really, they're just amazing people. Um, there, there's Lily. She's one of my sweet mates and she's my best friend. And she is, she's so funny and so nice and loyal and she's just, I know she'll always be there for me whenever I need her. And she also makes amazing cookies. And then there's Mary, and Mary is just an absolute angel. She is so cute. She's so happy and fun, and she's really smart too. And um, she she's full of fun facts, especially about butterflies. And she is so fun to be around. It's really amazing. She never fails to make me smile. Um, and there's Remus, and Remus is brilliant. Um, 
kind of shy, which is good for me because it's nice to have someone else who is shy sometimes around people. Um, and Remus is just, she's a sweetheart and she puts up with so much from the rest of us. It's actually incredible. She's a martyr. I need to start bringing her more caffeine. Um, and then there is Sirius, and Sirius is, well, they're a bit of a troublemaker, but they mean well, and they have a heart of gold, just kind of hidden under a rougher exterior. Um, they're, they're really nice most of the time. Um, and they're super funny, especially when, you know, their jokes aren't hurting other people. So yeah, and there's Jamie, and Jamie's a lot like Sirius. I mean, they're really good friends, and Jamie is, she's, she's like that. I mean, she's really nice too. It's just sometimes you have to get past, um, some jokes and kidding and teasing. Um, but yeah, they're, they both have hearts of gold, and they would definitely always be there for me and that I'm lucky to have them even if they can be a bit immature sometimes <laughs> um, and then and then there's Frank and I mean Frank's Frank's great he's really really nice um, he he's he volunteers with uh, kids um, at the boys and girls club and he mentors them and he is always really friendly and nice to just everyone um and yeah i mean and peter peter's great too he likes to sing a lot i mean he's better at it than i am and you know he's actually a music major so it makes sense um but P peter's great too and um you know just everyone is really awesome and i'm really looking forward to being in this psych class with them and hopefully get making these videos gets easier I'm sure eventually I'll get used to spilling my every thought and inner deep feelings to not only my professor and not only my classmates, but the entire internet. Yeah. It might take a while.